Okay guys, just got a few balls here, we'll try, we're dead into the wind here, like dead into it. Just try a couple down here with the four on, see what it's, with the hippo four on. This will be interesting. This one feels like it's about, about E5 swing weight. Oh, feels like it weighs a ton. An absolute, I don't know what it is, it just feels incredibly heavy and stiff. Come on, oh, this grip is so thin and slick. Okay, we'll be trying to do this. <laughs> 30 year old golf club. Slick grips and rebar, rebar steel for, uh, reinforced steel for a shaft. You know, a hurricane. I don't know, but it's at least 30 k's there. <clears throat> it's more spin than my than my four iron. And of course it's got more loft than my forearm. So, so it just doesn't penetrate into the wind like my forearm, but it's still going pretty good. Come on, James. And that's not bad flight. But what this does, guys, is it really highlights how far golf clubs have come in terms of technology. We're blessed compared to these. Wow. Could I play with these? Yeah. I'd have to modify my game in terms of distance, that type of stuff. But yeah, I can play with them. That's just the most perfect, perfect contact. That's the most beautiful feel off the face. I got that right in the sweet spot of this club, which I didn't know where it was. But I, I found it right then. So that sweet spot, I think, is a little bit towards the heel because that, that's the sweet spot there where I hit that. So it's a little bit towards the heel. And I'll, I'll actually do a sweet spot test. Oh, yeah, there it is, guys. There it is. It's, oh, it's not in the middle. It's towards the heel. Hogan's golf clubs, he used to hit all this towards the heel because they had those big, long hosels in those days. And he worked out that that's where the sweet spot was because of the vectoring of the long hosel down to the to the sweet spot. That's interesting. That was just perfect off the face. My goodness, that was a good feel. <clears throat> it just felt exquisite. The ground here is like Groundhog Day, guys. <laughs> Turn this way. Come on, Jase. Just lost the grip, guys. Because when I do turn it that much, when I do turn it that much, it actually twists the club out of my hand because the grip is so thin. It just, it just actually sort of rolled it out of my hand. Gee, that's good flight. Look at that. And of course, I really have to hang on very, very tight with this grip, which makes it difficult for me to to get that that trail hand hammering the ball because I've got so much pressure in it at the top of the swing because of the thin grips that that pressure is already there. Whereas what I'm trying to do when I'm hammering it is the club drops a little bit before I hammer. But at the moment, I've already got the hammer pressure there, so that's difficult. But you know, I've adjusted to these little thin grips, but the pressure, I've got to put a lot of pressure in them now. Don't get any better than that, guys. 30 year old golf club, look at that ball flight. Wow. 
Look at that ball fly. And that was in towards the heel. And that's where that sweet spot is. That's where that sweet spot is. Instinctively, I'm lining the club up in the heel. Isn't that funny? It's because, I, I don't know, maybe I can feel the balance of it. Well, maybe I've just, <laughs> maybe just think I can. But that's very interesting. That, that's, that's really surprising. Come on, James, really take it out there. No matter if you miss hit it, that's what this is about. It's a development program. And four irons out of crabgrass. And my buddy's just turned up, guys. So I'll just hit these couple of balls. I forgot my clubs. I left them at home. Or well, actually, drove out of the garage without them. And I just got these from the pro shop. 30-year-old hippos. Like, they're just... You can't believe how... But the ball flight's great. <clears throat> I'll let my buddy have a hit with him. <laughs> It'll be interesting. That's a different line. That's down the left side. Well, it's been, it's been a fun day. You know, 30 year old golf clubs and trying this different action. And I know what you're going to say. You're not doing it, Judge. Come on, last shot. Just had a bit of a regrip on the downswing there and just lost a little bit of control. But I'd really like to. I'd really like to get the club outside my hand. Last shot. Might as well hit these two. Got two here. Roll that one. Come on, last shot. Now that had a lot of green grass on it, so the ball d does a duck dive. Okay, guys, that's just old, old clubs. But I'm trying to do this. So I'm trying to do. But I'm probably getting here and then bailing out, so I'm here. Anyway, we'll have a look.